Hello, I'm Ryan Laferney. I'm a reference librarian here at the Avon Washington Township Public Library. And um, today I'm going to talk to you about some of my favorite books um, that are available to check out here at the library and some books that I also recommend. Um, and don't forget to visit avonlibrary.net to browse our collection. And you can always email us, email us at reference at avonlibrary.net for readers advisory services. So to start with, I'm going to talk about a couple um, fiction, works of fiction. Um, and the first up is this horror novel, The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. Um, and it was published this past summer to critical acclaim. And it's perfect for this time of year with Halloween just a little over a week away. Um, and it's about a group of young friends who hunt elk on a section of land set aside for the Blackfoot tribal elders. Um, and when they do, they, they, uh, they end up killing um, a young elk and uh, they set into motion a vengeance that will shadow the rest of their lives. Even fleeing the desperation of the reservation doesn't save them from the conse consequences of their, um, their action. And one by one, they're stalked by a supernatural force that sprang into being the night of the hunt. Um, the only good Indian certainly brings the, the genre shocks of horror but it also functions as a serious look at modern Native American culture, both inside and outside the reservation. Um, these themes make the book weightier than typical scare fare. And while some of the shifts in narrative focus feel abrupt, the overall work is very impactful. I absolutely love this book. It was culturally diverse, well-developed tale of vengeance. Um, the writing reminded me of the compelling and sparse nature of the works of Cormac McCarthy. So if gritty, sparse, or slasher things of your vibe, check this book out. But it also, it also has great heart and a great message as well. So Jim Butcher recently just published um, Battleground uh, here in September of 2020. And it's, I think his 17th novel in the Dresden Files series, which is sort of a series of paranormal police procedurals. Um, and so if you haven't caught up, uh, and you're, you like uh, urban fantasy, you like paranormal, you like police procedurals, um, check out Jim Butcher's entire Dresden Files series, starting with Stormfront. Um, and it's the first novel, obviously, that stars uh, Harry Blackstone Copperfield Drenston, who's a sh Chicago-based private eye, who also happens to be the only person listed under wizards in the phone book. Um, so he's a frequent consultant for the police on paranormal crimes, and he's called in to investigate when two mutilated corpses are discovered in a hotel room, and uh, things just kind of escalate from there. Someone is using magic to commit murder, and it's up to Harry to find the killer. So he's sort of like if Perot was a wizard. Um, if you like urban fantasy, as I mentioned, uh, mysteries, uh, paranormal, hard-boiled detectives, um, Jim Butcher borrows from sort of the tradition uh, and of um, hard-boiled mysteries. Um, this is for you, and uh, and you'll you'll have a lot of books to keep you reading as this is a 17 book long series. The Sister Brothers is another older novel, but I, I highly recommend it. It was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize in 2011, um, and it's a uh, darkly humorous, uh, humorous rather. Revisionist Western for fans of Cormac McCarthy or um, the filmmaker Quentin Tarantino. It's a story about two brothers who were hired to track down and kill a gold rush prospector. Um, but let's just say the brothers aren't the hardened killers they're portrayed to be in the beginning, although they certainly are um, fierce when they need to be. Um, DeWitt, Patrick DeWitt has produced a genre bending frontier story that is exciting, funny, um, tragic, and perhaps unexpectedly a bit moving. Um, this book, I believe, will be regarded as a classic in the years to come, uh, a classic of the Western genre, for sure. Now, moving on to nonfiction, um, The Compton Cowboys, The New Generation of Cowboys in America's Urban Heartland by author Thompson Hernandez Walter, or Walter Thompson Hernandez, rather, tells the story of the Compton Cowboys, a group of African-American men and women who, who defy stereotypes and continue the proud century-old traditions of Black cowboys in the urban heartland, specifically Compton. Um, 
This is a candid and compelling collective biography of the lives of 10 inner city men fighting to keep black cowboy culture alive and well, even as their personal lives are in disarray. And I, I found this to be an eye-opening and a moving book. Um, I think it's great that uh, there are people within the inner cities carrying on this, this legacy and these traditions. I would love to see more um, cowboys in urban settings across America. <laughs> um, so yeah. And then if, if you didn't know this already, Bruce Springsteen is about to release a brand new album with the E Street Band. Um, and so if, if you're a fan and haven't had a chance to read his autobiography that was written and published in 2016, now's the time to do so. Um, it's entitled Born to Run. And, you know, Springsteen is a natural storyteller and his memoir is highly entertaining and moving. Um, Springsteen writes about his life and the career with some powerful lyrical with the same powerful lyrical quality of his music. Um, this is a very candid memoir where Springsteen traces his life from his childhood in a Catholic New Jersey family to the musical experiences that prompted prompted his career, such as seeing Elvis on TV and the Beatles, um, to the rise of, uh, of the East Band and the stories behind some of his most famous songs. Um, and then he went ahead and sort of used these memoirs to do his uh, Broadway production uh, a year or two ago. Um, so if you, if you maybe seen that on Netflix, that's sort of an adaptation of this book. Once Upon a Time I Lived, in, I Lived on Mars, Space Exploration and Life on Earth by Kate Green was published this year in July. And it's a witty essay collection inspired by the author's four month stay inside NASA's simulated Martian habitat which explores such subjects as humanity's drive to explore, a sibling's disability, the lag time of interplanetary correspondence, and the challenges of long distance marriage. This engaging account will interest science fiction lovers, scientists, and dreamers who see the red planet in the night sky and wonder, what if? When are we gonna travel there? Next up is a book um, that's a classic and that has a brand new translation out and that is absolutely astounding. It's a rad radical new contemporary verse translation of the epic poem of Beowulf by Maria Devana Headley. And it brings to light elements that have never been before translated into English, recontextualizing the binary, binary narrative of monsters and heroes into a tale in which the two categories often entwine. Justice is rarely served and dragons live among us. Um, this is a gritty, action-packed, witty, and often vulgar translation that is simply astounding, and it's a, it's a feminist translation. She places special emphasis on the female characters, um, and they have way more agency than they do in a lot of other translations, and you get motivation for why Grendel's mother, you know, um, fights Beowulf and, and has the seeks this vengeance. Um, if you were bored by Beowulf in high school, this is the version to pick up. It's sort of, uh, you know how Hamilton sort of remixes American um, history with hip hop? She's kind of doing that for Beowulf here. Um, the wordplay is simply amazing. Next up is my uh, comic book selection for, for the fall here. And um, I recommend Valkyrie Jane Foster um, by Jason Aaron. Um, for years, you know, uh, if you're familiar with um, Thor from the Marvel Universe, uh, Jane Foster was the love interest and in one of Thor Odinson's uh, most steadfast companions. And then in a recent arc, she became the goddess of thunder. She became worthy of Thor's hammer and became the female version of Thor. Um, and now she takes on a new role as Valkyrie, guide and fairy woman to the dead. And it's, it's just a lot of fun. Um, and uh, yeah, and she's just written with a lot of agency. So I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for, um, you know, something that's just astounding. The art is beautiful. Um, and yeah, Jane Foster might even be better than Thor. <laughs> so check it out. And then we, um, that's my recommendations for, for this, for this fall, but um, you can always visit Novelist Plus uh, via avonlibrary.net and play around with it to get book recommendations. Um, you can plug in um, 
a book you like to get other titles that um, you might like and prefer as well. And like I said, if you have questions, need a book recommendation, email us at reference at avonlibrary.net. Call us, we're, we're happy to assist you um, finding books that you wanna read. All right, have a good day.